Hi, I'm King George, and I'm a Rainbow Six Siege Six Invitational World Champion, and you're defending Chalet wrong, and I'm going to show you why. Um, people have no idea how to attack the kitchen, and there's so many ways to play it, um, and I'm going to show you just a, a few ways how. Um, so I'll talk about all the reinforcements I do, why I do them, where I put my mirrors, rotate holes, and why I do those. First thing, you basically always want to reinforce this wall, and I always shotgun above it, and why do I do that? Because if you have impact grenades, you can impact over the wall. Uh, you can put this mirror here, but you can. I'm going to show you a few other places you can move it as well. But we're going to go with like a very basic kitchen hold that will work at lower ranks. Reinforcing the hatch, reinforcing these two walls so that if they're taking west main, they don't shoot you. A rotate hole so you can play this half wall later. Um, some head holes and stuff so you can still play off this mirror, uh, which is very useful because most people will just push lobby and open the wall, and you'll have some nice angles on them. Uh, you want to make some head holes here and reinforce the wall so that you could fight people coming up west main or through either of these two windows. Additionally, I always like to open this hatch, and as you notice, there's some holes above. If they try to do a hard trophy push, you can look down. And if they're pushing through west main, you can actually look through some of these holes in the floor. But as you can see, there's a few angles up here that you can kind of look right down on the windows over here, uh, see when people are jumping in, and uh, pick off a few free kills. And you can even look down to the west main stairs, see all the way down there. So, um, as for upstairs, I do like to put a rotate hole uh, right through the closet and one over here as well. I do like to reinforce this wall to fight solar. And additionally, you can move a reinforcement. So you can actually open the hatch if you're playing above and double reinforce these walls if you're doing a hard hold up here. Um, even putting a mirror window up here. So, a lot of it is going to depend where the take is actually coming from. So, most teams... Generally speaking, we'll just try to take main lobby and open the doors. So additionally, you can put a reinforcement over here, to fight library, um, or one in the closet over here uh, to fight the big window. See, that leads right to the big window over here, so you could reinforce this wall, fight the big window, and kind of play it like you're defending, like, master bedroom almost, but, like, how you hold library so that they can't go below. Um, so that's... Probably, I would say, the most popular take, at least at higher ranks, is clear library out, clear lobby out, and uh, push. Um, you can also flank on this map really easily on the site. So that's actually what makes the site so strong, is it's really hard for the attackers, if they're pushing main lobby, to really cover everything. There's two staircases that you can flank from. You could flank from above. So, you know, in reality, they're probably going to have to have a minimum of, like, three drones or people dedicated to watching all these different flanks. You could even open the wall above and play it so that there's a person basically forced to watch the basement, forced to watch the main stairs, forced to watch piano, forced to watch the main wall. There's a whole bunch of different angles where you could just be flanking basically nonstop. So yeah, that's the most common take, I would say, at least at higher elo. And, and once again, you can impact and eye that. And And you can actually even put a Cade Claw underneath in the wine cellar. If you're unsure of where the wall is, easy way to do it is you could actually just ping the center of the wall, drop down the hatch, and just throw the Cade Claw under. Additionally, you could follow this beam right here, and it's right around there. So, yeah. Easiest thing, though, if you're really confused, is just to ping it and go down. Um, frost is also really strong here. You can put frost mats under all the windows here. We'll get one. Palu immediately refrag onto Geo, oh. but Palu does not look down. In the library, um, above as well it works too. People will just jump through these windows and bathroom and stuff if they're trying to do a solar take, clear above and get the hatch and go down solar. Um, yeah, they'll generally prowl in these windows, swing in, or they'll be on these bathroom windows just jumping through. And yeah, so this is generally speaking... The two main takes, I would say, that would that would come through. Additionally, some people will try to push through West Main. But once again, as long as you have upstairs control, that's the key. The key is to maintain upstairs control. But if you do lose it, once again, it's okay because there's so many angles to flank from. And uh, we'll head over to the uh, next site now. And I'm going to show you how to set up the master bedroom site. Uh, probably the second most popular site, I would say, in ranked. Probably first for higher ranks but second overall i'd say i'm gonna show you why and where i put all the different reinforcements on the map rotate holes head holes and everything like that and why i put this reinforcement specifically on the right and not the left and when you can put it on the left or if you should do both 
Uh, so let's go over them really quick. Um, the reinforcements are as follows. Uh, single one right here facing the window. You can put a mirror window on this if you do have a mirror available. I like to reinforce both of these walls so that they can't wall bang you from the bathroom windows. Um, reinforce the main walls. Obviously over here, pretty much these two every time. And uh, put this wall on the right side, not the left. The reason I like it on the right side is because I actually like to fight angle and help my roamers out and stuff like that because i genuinely do anchor sight and as you can see they actually can't hit you from the big window over here when you would want to put on the left is if you want to make feet holes so that they can't plant on this little half wall right here additionally you could reinforce both i generally would almost always recommend against doing so but you could especially if you're playing below maybe with c4 or something um but yeah i like to make head holes all the way across here and a rotate hole the reason the rotate hole is here is because they can't see you from the balcony door and you can go through the rotate I like to open the hatch but you don't have to for rotates uh rotate in the closet so you can move through this entire area freely um there is a really nice angle right here on the balcony that you can kind of peek and the feet holes are over here so that if they're coming up the staircase, you can fight them. You can also make the holes head level if you so desire. You can also fight the main breach when all these head holes are open and these head holes even from over here. People will almost always peek these head holes if they're pushing piano and they see a deployable shield on the piano, um, which you can do if you have one. Put it right on top of the piano. It's kind of a weird angle and you can stand on top of it. Uh, stand behind it, play it however you so desire. You can also reinforce these walls or make feet holes on them. Uh, if there's a mirror here, you might want to reinforce it because they could shoot you through the wall here. Um, if not, maybe make feet holes through it so that you can play it later in the round if they're doing a solar take. So I'm going to show you where the last four reinforcements that I have are. Um, this, These reinforcements you can move around as you so please. I like to put them you know, in this way to... Um, kind of hold library and stuff. You can actually put a mirror all the way over here if you want to, too. Or on this wall over here, or over here. Wherever you so desire, you can move both mirrors over here to really help push them to go towards solar. Uh, but generally speaking, they will open the big window, and some people will come through the library and drone this stuff out, repelling all over here. But if you have these head holes here, you actually have some cover to sit behind, some nice angles to play, and it makes it a little bit more defendable. You can also fight the big window through here as well. Um, and not have to worry about getting wall banged um, as much through here. So that's why I like to reinforce both of these. There's also a lot of really nice angles the enemy team can get on you from over here. Whereas if you reinforce them, they have to waste hard reach utility to do so. So that's kind of why I set up these reinforcements the way I do. And once again, if someone's coming up their blue stairs, you can actually assist them from over here and crossfire. So this is by far the most popular take um, that most people do. And they'll have somebody peeking on the balcony door over here. The opposite take that people will do is on the solar, solar, they'll have somebody go big window. A lot of times that happens anyway. There's a whole bunch of nice angles you can play over here on the bomb to try to fight it if they're on the upside down repeller on the side. And if you hear them, you can actually kind of cut close on the corner and you know, like free fire wherever they're standing. Um... um you can actually see right below here is the trophy window. So you can actually make a couple holes here and aim at the trophy window. Can uh, generally expect the take to come over here. If you're playing on the staircase with C4, you can launch it in the window. There's obviously a hatch down here as well, which you can open and then open the door and run out on the enemy team. The location has been compromised. As well as C4 and below flanking light and overall you can just it's a pretty defendable position overall if they're doing a solar take it's tough for them to take because you could flank them from a lot of different positions um so yeah that's kind of how i hold it most of the positions that i do play and like to play uh and yeah we will head over to the next site i'm gonna show you to set up the bar gaming site on chalet um, it's actually what I think is probably the best site, um, even though it's not as popular. I'd say it's probably the third site most people play, but it's really good. I'll show you where I put all 10 reinforcements, why and where I put rotate holes, head holes, um, and the rest of my utility, and where the push will generally come from. Uh, so, kind of sitting, uh, starting out, um, I like mirror on the site, if available. Super, super, super good to put a mirror over here, because a lot of people just peek this window, open it, and you can also kind of like hold this position nicely. It's also good if you have a deployable shield to put over here as well if it's possible or to castle this doorway or something if you have a castle just for extra protection so people can't sneak up on you or just having a teammate play there um so yeah as for reinforcements one here always love to put a mirror here this is my favorite spot to play 
uh, reinforce here so people can't come up the stairs and wall bang you. So there's really only two reinforcements that are downstairs. And then I like to reinforce all four of these walls and make sure to board this doorway. Unless you have a roamer over there, that is. One wall here, just like uh, I did for the master bedroom hold. Uh, and two more, the final two, right over here. Or three, sorry. One on the hatch uh, and one on this mirror. So you can have a teammate playing it. Really strong position to hold. Or alternatively, if they're pushing from library really heavily, you can move the mirror over here. These are totally interchangeable in which way the push is coming. Um, in my experience, generally the push is coming this way more often than not. So that's why I put the mirror over here. But, you know, we move it around as, as needed. Always like to open up this hatch as well. Head holes here to fight inside of library. Head holes here to fight inside the piano push and big window push. Uh, and the head holes for the mirror down here, of course. And I like to make the entire thing all the way across open. So that if I have a teammate that needs to help me and run back, they can just play behind the bar over here and actually fight all these angles. As well as making a couple of rotate holes over here so that I can easily navigate throughout uh, the map and back and forth and teammates can as well always like to hold this angle too to help my teammates when they're in libraries so they can't jump in and frost is super good here I like to put a frost manager here and here maybe mud window maybe up here to help people in library it depends you can move the mats pretty much anywhere that you want um the window on top blue is also a good one a deployable shield here is super clutch and i would always recommend pretty much using one um if you can uh, as well as putting barbed wire on this bottom staircase or something to detect people kind of walking up because people will just crouch walk through the basement uh, as well as this hall it's called 45 where you can put you know motion sensor barbed wire whatever you want really just to slow people down you could reinforce this wall or put beat holes here if you want as well uh, but generally speaking, the push um, at higher ranks and stuff will come from uh, solar side over. They'll clear, they'll open these walls, they'll clear your ability on the shield, and they'll try to push the mirror. So that's why I have so much stuff that I generally want people to set up over here to stop that push. Um, alternatively, at lower ranks, people will just kind of push like library and big window, which you're still pretty set up for as well, but you can move the mirror if they're doing that, or they'll just all jump through over here. Um... Not that hard to deal with, generally speaking, with the setup that you have. Just have a few people playing upstairs so that they can aim down on that, obviously, through the hatch. Uh, and some people that are uh, below to actually still hold sight. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing is you can actually open up some angles here, too. I almost forgot about these. But you can look down on the main staircase to catch people creeping up over here. Um, there's even spots kind of over here. If there's someone pushing uh, in bar door, you can look straight down. That's so why you don't have to have your hatch open or exposed, but you can still get a nice angle. And you can do these all late, too, of course. Uh, and you can watch when people are coming out of 45. Or you can make one above here, uh, right above the main door as well. Watch out for that big window, of course. But... Yeah, hopefully this helps out, uh, and we will uh, be heading to uh, the next site. I'm going to show you how to set up the basement site on Chalet here, and why I have these weird mirrors. Uh, the first thing, though, that I'm going to go over is just the basic reinforcements. We use all 10 here, uh, and why we use them. I'm going to go over why these mirrors are here and how I set up the site in general, why I do this rotate, etc. So we're in the basement here, so main snowmobile wall. Uh, we're going to reinforce both of these here. I like to reinforce both hatches. You could optionally open this hatch if the enemy team is not playing above and have a person roaming above and look down. And team. Reinforce both of, both of these walls as well on wine. You could open this and play the trench as well. Wouldn't recommend it, but you could. Um, and reinforce the long angle. Now, you might be asking, well, that's... You know, and obviously the mirror wall right here to face, uh, you know, the main breach. Uh, the last one is actually over here, because sometimes people will come up here and open this wall and watch the rotate. Um, if mirror is banned, you could additionally open this wall as well. Mirror is here, you should always be taking it, in my opinion. Um, so I make this rotate all the way up. Why do I do this? Because if they're making a main stair push, you can actually fight the main staircase over here. 
Um, and further back here, if you have the time to do it, I would always make a hole above over here just for pressure. Because as soon as people see this debris on the ground, they're going to try to clear upstairs, even if you're not there. Um, and open this hatch in case somebody needs to play late. So it's good just to have. Why do I put this mirror here? Um, so the main mirror, pretty obvious. It's to fight the uh, main wall if they open it. So why do I put this one here? There's always the second spot. If people put the mirror on this back wall, side wall, whatever. I actually like to put it on this wall and leave the wall soft. And you can actually see blue here. And I do get quite a few kills here from time to time where I'm just kind of watching blue stairs and popping up and shooting at people as they come down. They can't shoot at you because the mirror will obviously block the bullets. Generally speaking, um, I actually think this is the worst site on the map, but you know, a lot of people play it. It's a super popular rank site. Generally speaking, the enemy team's gonna come above, maybe throw some rams in, um, open the main wall up and, and make a push and try to plant here. Or they will go backside, clear the big garage, maybe put a flank on West Main, you know, take trench door and everything. Um, a nice little C4 that I have too is behind this table. You could throw it over. Just some spots. Um, hop up here. There's normally a barrel here. You could destroy it and sit up here. Uh, you could shoot people through the drone hole. As well as there's kind of like a pixel angle over here that you can kind of hold when people are pushing. And you could even make it sneakier with an Azami. So it's like a, you know, small pixel gap. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I would uh, go about doing a very basic site setup and holding the basement um, to stop uh, pushes. Like and follow for more.